right, it's a big day. Mac Studio finally arrived. I ordered this nine days ago. A uh, little bit of a custom build, which is why it took as long as it did, but I, I received this five days earlier than I was originally supposed to. So as you can see here, we ripped it out of the box. It has a nice fabric handle. Uh, box is pretty undescript, typical Apple fashion. My monitor is way off over here, so I'm trying to, to view that. Uh, the back of the box just shows what the Mac Studio itself looks like. And that's it. The uh, model serial, everything are down here on the bottom. I'm not going to show that for obvious reasons. Uh, but this is the 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU, 64 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte SSD. So let's dig into this real quick. Get this unboxing done real quickly. So designed by Apple, actually, let's just, let's just unfold this here. So these two sides come down. Here is the Mac Studio itself, which we're going to put to the side. Power cable, it is a grounded cable. Uh, the back itself also, same thing. It's, it's a more robust, uh, heavy-duty cable than what uh, the Mac Mini, for example, offers, which is essentially the same cord, power cord, as the Apple TV. Uh, so we'll put that off to the side here. Now it is a mess of wires behind me uh, and getting this Mac Studio will kind of help eliminate the amount of dongles and USB-C hubs and such uh, that I have in my home, so that's nice. And then, designed by Apple in California, Mac Studio. So it's the essentials guide. Uh, it says, welcome to your Mac Studio. Press the power button to start up your Mac Studio. Setup Assistant helps you get up and running. And then it just shows the ports here. Um, you know, just describing what I already just did, basically. Of course, you have your warranty information. And you get a nice black Apple sticker uh, with, the, with the Mac Studio. And that, that is it. Pretty, uh, pretty cut and dry. I'll take the, the cloth wrapping off of it right now. It's going to be a few hours before I get a chance to actually set everything up so it's just going to have to stay as is for the time being here uh, but it's it's pretty cold right now anyway I want to bring it up to room temperature before I get everything fully plugged in and, and fully running so that's not a problem in my opinion I'll let things kind of warm up here uh, so yeah it's it's you know three inch tall square definitely it doesn't weigh as much as I thought it was going to weigh uh, some people have said it's, it's heavier than they thought but I it actually feels kind of hollow, in my opinion. I think that has a lot to do with that wrapping that's over it. Now that I have it in my hand, you know, just to the metal, it feels better. But it doesn't feel as, as dense as I thought it would. Uh, again, here are the ports in the back. So, power button, headphone jack, HDMI, two USB-A ports. There's your power uh, port right in the middle. A gigabit, 10 gigabit Ethernet port. Four USB-C or Thunderbolt 4 ports. And then on the front, we have two USB-C. These are not Thunderbolt ports. If you get the higher end processor, these become Thunderbolt. I did not, so these are staying as USB-C. SD card reader, and then of course your LED status light. Nothing on either of the two sides. Logo on top here, and then making sure I don't show a serial number or anything along those lines. Then on the bottom here, just Mac Studio uh, and that's it. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty nondescript little box. I, I actually really like it. It's, mine's going to be hiding. It's hard to see. This is a mess of cables right now, but it's gonna, going to be hiding underneath this monitor. It will be out of the way. So I will have all of this space right here free uh, to do with, as you may, so much room for activities. You like guacamole? Ah! 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 Uh, but let's get this thing set up. We'll go from there. I, I do want to say what I'm going to be doing testing-wise. I've seen a lot of people doing game testing on the Mac Studios, uh, specifically in games that I play, such as Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO. Uh, one thing I've seen is th these, these testers are getting you know 100 plus FPS, but they're playing on casual game types. So they either are playing with all bots, uh, or they're playing arms race, or they're playing the casual mode, which is 10 versus 10. If you're actually playing Counter-Strike, and I mean actually playing Counter-Strike, you're going to be playing the competitive mode. So I will be testing on competitive, five, five versus five, you know, against other players and seeing how it's performing then. Because if you get any sort of hitching or lagging uh, or anything along those lines, it is very 
interruptive to your play, uh, and it will affect your kill-death ratio. You won't win. All of those. Uh, all of the above. So I'm going to be testing actually in competitive mode with CSGO. I'll make a video just for CSGO. Then I'll also make videos for other games like Borderlands uh, and a few of the other games. There's a, a Deus Ex game that is compatible. I think it's Mankind Divided, but I have to double-check that. Um, that is compatible with Mac OS. So, you know, it's not running natively. These are going to be x86 games that are running through Rosetta in the compatibility layer. They're not for actual Apple Silicon. Uh, but I still will be testing those games to see. I know some won't even boot. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing that and a plethora of other things with this Mac Studio. If you made it through this video, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Please like if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.